shameful. It is actually shameful. Manchester United, a great and once proud institution, have dropped out of Europe altogether before Christmas. For the first time in 18 years, European football is over for Manchester United before the Christmas lights come down. Can you believe the performance that we have just watched at Old Trafford? It was pitiful. Last night, Manchester United were pathetic. They were the true definition of pathetic. They were supposed to be going into a do or die football match against an elite European team. An old foe. They sing songs about who put the ball in the back of Bayern Munich's net. And they sing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They are two foes, two esteemed guests going head to head. And Manchester United, in a do or die game at Old Trafford against Bayern Munich, they managed to muster one single shot on target. And they are now out of Europe. And on top of everything, they have broken a record for an English club conceding goals in the Champions League group stages. Can you believe this Manchester United team? have gone out of the European Cup and they have conceded 15 goals in their Champions League group games. It is pitiful. When you think about the amount of goals that they scored in this Champions League group, it is appalling that they have gone out. But let's be real, Manchester United have nothing about them. They have no fight. They have no desire. They have no hunger. They have no leaders. They are a pitiful football team. There's no belief. There's no cutting edge. And I think the belief is key here because... I know a lot of Manchester United fans and literally not one felt like they had any chance of knocking either Galatasaray or Copenhagen out of the European Cup tonight. Galatasaray or Copenhagen, when you think about how kind the group was for Manchester United, it couldn't have been more kind. You know, Bayern Munich are obviously incredibly prestigious, a wonderful football team and better than Manchester United. When you look at that front four attacking, they are truly sublime. And Harry Kane could be seen as being the final piece in the jigsaw. We saw him with an assist tonight. But, but, I just think that the group was so kind because Bayern Munich were obviously going to run away with it. They've qualified with games to spare, which should have opened the door for Manchester United to fit snugly into that second spot. But it was never going to happen and no Manchester United fan believed it. it they knew that they were out, they knew that it was over. And the fact that they went out in such a flaccid, weak and uninspiring way means that everyone involved tonight needs to hang their head. I mean, Bruno Fernandes was comparable to a mannequin. He did absolutely nothing and he is supposed to be the personality of the team. He is supposed to be the club captain and yet that is the kind of performance that he turns out. I cannot understand what is going on and I think the easiest thing for us to do is to start talking about the Glazers here. You know, we could start talking about the Glazers and the ownership and the distraction of the Sir Jim Ratcliffe takeover and whatever else. And on some level, there is a truth to that, but that would be doing a disservice to Eric Ten Hag and a disservice to those players. They hugely let the club down tonight. And Manchester United, a glorious footballing institution, are now out of Europe altogether. And I know some Manchester United fans will try and position that as a positive. They'll say, well, they wouldn't win the Europa League anyway, so what's the point in being in it? It would be a distraction. It will cost them Premier League points and they wouldn't win it anyway. I disagree with that. Manchester United, as an institution, desperately need to be in Europe. So the only thing now that we need to talk about is why, what happened? How did this happen? And I do feel that it's far too easy to simply say the ownership. Look, there's an awful lot wrong with the way Chelsea have run. I don't want anyone to think that I'm perhaps holding Manchester United to a standard that I wouldn't hold my own club to. Manchester United and Chelsea are in a similar state. On some level, the managers are set up to fail. But that doesn't excuse these terrible performances. And I think that the manager, the manager needs to step up. You know, we see the impact that a manager can have. You've seen what Unai Emery did. You've seen what Eddie Howe did. You've seen what various managers over the years can do at a club when they are brought in, when they are trusted, when they can genuinely have an impact. And I think that it's gone stale for Ten Hag. Whether that's fair, whether it's just, perhaps not. Have the players let him down? Almost definitely. Are there other people at the club perhaps more culpable than Ten Hag? Almost definitely as well. But that's not how it works. The buck stops with the manager. And I've just received a text that is going to shock you. Listen to these stats that have just come through to me 
on a text message. These are genuinely going to blow your mind. And when you absorb these facts, I think that you will have to deduce that regardless of what else is going on at Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag simply cannot stay at the helm. Listen to these. Manchester United have never lost four of six Champions League group games in the competition's history until Eric Ten Hag. Manchester United have never failed to keep a clean sheet in five of six Champions League group games in the competition's history until Eric Ten Hag. No English team in Champions League history has ever conceded 14 goals in the first five games of a Champions League group until Eric Ten Hag. Manchester United have broken an English record of conceding goals in the Champions League with 15 goals conceded under Eric Ten Hag. Galatasaray hadn't won a game on English soil in their 117 years of existing until Eric Ten Hag. Manchester United had never lost the opening two Champions League group games until Eric Ten Hag. Manchester United had never conceded seven goals in the opening two Champions League group games until Eric Ten Hag. Manchester United hadn't conceded four goals in a Champions League group game in 28 years until Eric Ten Hag. Manchester United had never conceded three or more goals in back-to-back -back Champions League games until Eric Ten Hag. Galatasaray hadn't scored in or won an away Champions League game since 2015. Suddenly, they play an Eric Ten Hag team and they score three goals in one game and win. All of those stats are applicable to Eric Ten Hag and therefore his tenure at Manchester United is over. It is impossible for him to proceed. He is completely undermined. I think the players know it. Jadon Sancho basically told us as much, didn't he? When he told us that he believed that he could outlive Eric Ten Hag, he didn't need to apologise to Ten Hag, he didn't need to delete his pinned tweet where he scolded Ten Hag. He told us that he believed that he could outlive Ten Hag at Manchester United and start with a new manager with a clean slate. So I believe that Manchester United need to now part ways with Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag has done OK on some level, but as I will say again, I do believe that at Manchester United you are set up to fail. But this is a historic, symbolic night for Manchester United to drop out of the European Cup in the way that they did with a whimper. An absolute whimper. They had nothing to offer. If they go out, you know, with in, in a blaze of glory, going out in the way that Butch Cassidy and Sundance went out, you know, you hold your heads up high and out you go. But this was pathetic. Bayern Munich didn't need to win. They didn't need to draw. And yet they won at ease. Musiala dominating the game. It was far too easy. And it was a flaccid performance from Manchester United and now they've got a bit of a disaster they've got injuries they're going into a game against Liverpool their captain Bruno Fernandes is banned Harry Maguire is out it's it's a shambles and I can see that one ending really really badly thank you so much for watching this video if you've enjoyed it please do me a massive favour before you go please click that subscribe button it really does help me out and I would love to welcome you into this community. Really do appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Please give it a like as well. It does help me out in a bit.